Well, family, friends, and fellow public servants say a final farewell to a man credited with the rebirth of Wisconsin's ag industry. News 3's Mark Lovacott joins us with more of the memorial service in honor of Rod Nilsestoon. Mark. Yeah, a smaller service was held yesterday at Nilsestoon's home church. Today, hundreds packed Bethel Lutheran in downtown Madison to remember a man who seemed to have such a significant impact on so many people, including our state's ag industry. Governor Doyle today called Nilsestoon a visionary. He was not somebody lost out in the clouds. He had a very clear understanding of where we needed to go. It was not forgotten the tragic and unexpected nature of Neil Sestoon's death today. The Department of Ag, Trade and Consumer Protection Secretary passed away last week. He drowned in Lake Superior after a day of volunteering at a Habitat for Humanity home. It was echoed many times at the service today that as tragic as his passing was, Nil Sestoon died doing what he loved so much, helping others. As this part of Dad, the very compassionate, kind, and goofy man that will always be a part of my life, is this man that I always love, respect, and adore. And this land we call home will remember Rod Nilsiston and maybe we can remember that wit and wisdom and that compassion and humility that open mindedness and that willing to work and work and work some more uh, for a good cause. Many memories personal and professional were shared in today's service it lasted just over two hours. After today's services, Nilsa Stoon's family will be making the journey to Arcadia, about 25, 45 miles rather, northwest of La Crosse. That is where Nilsa Stoon was born and raised. He will be laid to rest there on the land that he grew up on. News 3's Mark Lovacott continuing coverage on this story. Mark, thank you very much. You bet.